All right, so all the lines are in right now. And so with that, we're gonna actually bleed the lines. And I bought a very, very awesome product that I've been just getting a lot of good reviews from. It's the Motive Power Bleeder. And so what happens is you put, at least with Mazda, you have to buy the European adapter, an anodized aluminum one that has like a swivel. I didn't get that one because I just wanted something cheap just to get this thing done. So I just bought the, the normal one. But right now what I'm doing is I'm checking for any leaks in the line. So I'm having it at 15 uh, inches of vacuum, letting it sit for like two minutes to see if the gauge is gonna drop. After about two minutes or so, I'm gonna bleed the air here and then add my brake fluid into it. Start in the back corner. Test came back sat. Now I have the Matul uh, 5.1 fluid in the reservoir. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pressurize the system to about 15 PSI. Motive says between 10 and 15 is a, is a sweet spot. So I'm gonna go to 15 just to kind of evacuate the system quicker. In order to do that, obviously you have your pump here, hand actuated and you just kind of go to town and the gauge will go up and then you'll start seeing fluid go through the lines here. And then everything starts going through to double check, make sure that this connection isn't leaking and it isn't leaking here. And you'll see the fluid uh, build in the reservoir. And uh, we'll go into the passenger rear and I have another product that is gonna speed this process up. I ended up picking up their power bleeder uh, catch can. So it's pretty nice because it has a little lanyard to hook up to a lug or anything in the real well. So the system's under pressure. I have the hose hooked up to the bleeder screw right now. So what we're gonna do is loosen this up and then we're gonna see dark fluid, air bubbles come through, it will fill up. And then as soon as we start seeing like clear fluid with no air bubbles, then we'll close this up and we'll go back to the front of the car, make sure that pressure supply doesn't go below 10 PSI. If it does, I'll have to pump it back up, but if everything's all good, then we'll go over to the driver's side rear. And I believe the order for FDs is a little different since the this has an ABS model. So the ABS is on the passenger front. So from what I was reading, it's gonna go passenger rear, driver rear, driver front, passenger front. Typically it would be the other way around where we would go from the driver's side rear to the passenger front, then driver's side front. I'm sure I'm gonna hear something about it in the comments, but that's how I understood it on, from some really, really smart people on the on the forums. I hope you guys can see that, but yeah, just hella freaking air bubbles in the system right now. See, so yeah, I'm just waiting for just a nice solid stream, and then we'll start seeing accumulation down here. And we'll move on to the driver's side rear. So I'm starting to see a trend here with uh, how much pressure is being bled from each end. So usually, like I said, we start at 15 and usually drops about 12 when the line is clear and there's no bubbles. At this point in time, I got the driver's side front done. And since clutch assembly is integrated with master cylinder, I'm actually gonna go and bleed the clutch slave down below while I'm at it and since everything's here, and then we'll finish off on the passenger front. All right, all four corners are done, even the clutch. And as you can see, yeah, this is just yummy. What you're gonna do, you don't want to loosen it up here because that's just bad news, nor here. But you want, just like when we were doing the uh, pressure test, to make sure that initially there was no leaks, um, we wanna loosen it here. And then once it's depressurized, then we can loosen it from here and then make our disconnect here if you want. I'm probably gonna leave this together and just kind of coil it up around the canister, but uh, be sure to have, you know, some microfibers around because if this gets on your paint, it's, it's game over. I'm gonna do that and then the level on here is not max. So I'm gonna try to drain this out into one of the empty little tool bottles and then hit it on the max and we will be done. Everything's all wrapped up, topped off the brake fluid reservoir. Uh, don't mind the mess in here. There's some other things undergoing maintenance items. Definitely stay tuned to see what is going on. That Motive power bleeder, I give that thing is two thumbs up. That thing is freaking awesome. And it's so nice to be able to do this like by yourself and not having a miscommunication in the car with somebody pumping the pedal. It's just you in the car, 
get pressure and you can go to all four corners and you're done within like 30 minutes. But with that being said, I will post the link of the product in the description. And again, if you guys liked what you saw, if you want any more clarification on it, let me know. That's pretty much it. Brake system's all done. Go for a test drive. Once I get everything all put back together, make sure that the brake pedal feeling's really good, the clutch works. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.